Hey guys, Mike McElane with another episode of Workout 101 on WorkoutTrainer.com right here at Total Body Fitness Gym in Oak Park, California. Today we're going to be talking about a machine fly. We've covered the flies in so many different episodes. We've talked about cable crossovers using the machines and the cables. We've talked about one arm band flies, band, all types of flies, dumbbell flies. We haven't really gone over a machine fly, all right? Now, I know that a lot of gyms and a lot of people may not have access to this particular machine, which is one of the reasons why we traditionally stick to a lot of dumbbell and free weight exercises so that the majority of the people who watch these videos can identify and execute those movements because it's equipment that they have. But I just wanted to demonstrate something for the people who do have access to this about the differences when you're actually doing this movement. Now a lot of people when they're doing flies, Machines, the nice thing about machines is they take some of the thinking out of the movement because it's on a fixed plane and usually each machine you can only do limited certain movements with it. But I want you guys to understand when you are doing certain things, in this case a fly, hand position and technique still matters whether it's a machine or anything else. Just like there's a complex movement as a barbell overhead squat. The machine fly, you have to be aware of technique. So if you notice, this particular one has two different handle positions, all right? It has a handle for what's called a neutral grip. And if you notice, this is what's called a neutral grip where my hand is here. This is called a supinate or a prone grip where my hand is over. This is called a supinated grip where my hand my palm faces upward, all right? This particular machine allows these different grip positions, but you guys have to understand why, okay? Because you might just come in here and do what most 99.9% .9 of people do with a neutral grip, and that's great. Yes, you are targeting the pecs, but if you notice here, when I come together, my elbows are kind of far apart. And the reason why is because the position of my of my hands, my grip. When I get my elbows more close together, what happens is, is my shoulder blades depress and I'm actually getting more of a contraction out of the pec. And if you guys, I don't know if you can see, but as I come down here, my pec actually contracts more harder and firmer and I can feel it on the inside parts of my pec. So the closer that your elbow rotates down and in, the more of the inner pecs you're actually going to hit and the more of contraction the pecs you're going to get. So it's somewhat difficult to do it on a fixed surface here because these handles don't rotate. But that's the reason why we have these handles. So as you come out here, you can now do a fly to where your palms are in a supinated position. Now you're not going to be able to go back as far as here because you, your, your shoulders are rotated. See, my upper arm now, my shoulders are rotated, but as I, if, the more I depress my shoulder blade, my pecs are more activated, but it doesn't allow me a good stretch, all right? But it does allow more contraction into the pecs as I come together, all right? So that is the difference between these two hand grip positions when you're executing the fly. Try them both. Play around with your different hand positions and you guys will feel the difference in the results that you're going to get and you can actually see them as well. If you guys want a workout program that utilizes this particular movement, log in. Sign up guys. It's free. There are optional upgrades but that allows us to keep the lights on here and gives you guys more advanced features on the site. If you have any questions about this exercise, please ask me on Facebook or become part of our community which allows you to download all the workout programs that I have personally designed as well as all the community members and create your own. So if you're writing them in a notebook, tearing them out of a magazine, you can actually use this application to create your own plans there. And again, you can ask me questions by clicking on the trainer tab, finding me, and I will answer any questions you guys have. Until next time, guys, this is Mike McInerney with another episode of Workout 101 on WorkoutTrainer.com right here at Total Body Fitness Gym in Oak Park, California. Take care. I'm gonna cross your lift.